this smart Wi-Fi breaker I have, this can be turned on by smartphone and can also be turned off. By using this type of breaker, you will get a lot of benefit. Like in this breaker, you will get the protection of MCB. After this, the protection provided by RCCB is also included in this breaker. In this breaker, you will get the function as timer. Besides in your home, if voltage is getting low or high, for this, we use voltage monitoring relay. Same as voltage monitoring relay, you will get the function here. Besides, this breaker will also work as voltmeter. Along with this, it can measure current also, which will be displayed here. Apart from all this, by using this breaker, we can take the reading of energy meter. This means you can say that this small breaker we have here, this breaker is a multi-purpose breaker. If we connect this breaker with Wi-Fi, after that, if you want to operate this from anywhere, I mean from any corner of the world, wherever you go, and from there if you want to turn on and off this breaker, you can do it. This smart Wi-Fi breaker I have now, this breaker is manufactured by CNC company. In this breaker, you will get a lot of functions so that if you install this device in your home, your home will become fully smart home. Let us first understand the connection of this breaker. If you want to do the connection of this breaker, then what you have to do, the cover which is placed here, open this cover first. When you open this, you will find two terminals here. Along with this, you can see L is written here and here is N. In between, IN is written. This means you have to connect input power supply here. So here I am using two wires for input power supply. Take these two wires and to the two terminals provided above here, with these two terminals, you have to connect these two wires. Here we provided input power supply. Now at output terminal, I am connecting a lamp so that by turning on and off the lamp, I can explain you everything. So what I will do is, I am taking phase and neutral wire of lamp and to these output terminals, I am connecting these wires. In the smart breaker I have, only this much connection is required. Now if I turn on the power supply, then after turning on power supply, the display of the device is turned on. In this display of this breaker, you can find every information which is required. Now here you can see total 5 buttons are provided. What is the use of these buttons? Let's look at these ones. Like here you can see the yellow button. Friends, this button is for test. Like in this RCCB, one test button is there to check the RCCB whether it is working properly or not. Same as this, in this breaker, this yellow button is there. Through this button, you can check this breaker. I am turning this on. After turning on, if I press this yellow button, you can see it got tripped. This means in this breaker we have, the RCCB of the breaker is working properly. Besides, these four other buttons are used for programming. At the time of programming, I will explain you in between. Now the smart breaker we have, how it is going to be connected with our smartphone, let's understand. For this, what you have to do, take your phone and inside this, open the Play Store app. After opening Play Store, search here in search box Tuya, T-U-Y-A. When you search Tuya, you will find Tuya Smart Home app. Click on this. After clicking on this, this application will be there in front of you. Install this application. After installing, open this app. When you open this, it will ask for some permission. You can allow this permission. After giving permission, you will be asked for login or sign up. So select sign up here. Process of signing up is easy. I am skipping this process here. After signing up, this kind of thing will come on screen. Click on the add device. After clicking on add device, these things will be displayed on screen. You have to search here energy. After clicking on energy, some breakers will be shown to you. Among all these breakers, this switch module Wi-Fi breaker here, click on this breaker. When you click on this, you will be asked to connect with a Wi-Fi network. After selecting the Wi-Fi network, whatever is connected in your home, enter password. After this, click on next button. After clicking on next button, you will be asked confirm the indication is blinking. Before doing this, this button here, press this button. This is the menu button. After pressing the menu button, here some options will be displayed. You can see here setting is written. Below, record, after that connect and many more options are there. We have to select here connect. After selecting connect, press the menu button. After this, you have to select here Wi-Fi. I went to Wi-Fi and selected menu button. 
here key reset is showing. Just press the green button and come out. After this, click on confirm the indication. You can see here indication is blinking very fastly. So we will click on blink quickly. After clicking on this, you can see breaker option is there. It will be searched and after that breaker option is displayed. So here you have to click on plus button. After this, for connecting this phone with this breaker, you have to wait for some time. As you can see here, breaker is written now. Click on this. After clicking, whole setup will be present here. Now this phone I have is connected with this breaker. Now if I click on this power button, you can see breaker is turned on. On again pressing the button, breaker will be turned off. You can see here on and off. Besides, if you want to turn on this breaker manually, then press this green button. After pressing button, breaker will turn on. On again pressing the button, breaker will turn off. Besides, you can see here in this phone, in this phone here, KWH is written. Kilowatt hour is written here means how much is the power consumption. After this, you can see the leakage current also. 9 milliampere leakage current is there. If this leakage current goes beyond 30 milliampere, then in this condition, your breaker will go off. You can do the setting also here that how much leakage current you want to set after which breaker trips. After this, in your phone, you can see the power, voltage, current. After this, in this breaker, what is the temperature? You can see this also. Here you can see event is written. This means in this breaker, overload, overpower or whatever is the reason for tripping, you can see here. Right now you can see normal is selected. This means any kind of tripping is not there. After this, there is an option for current setting. This breaker I have, rating of this breaker is 100 ampere. If you want, you can set this for lower ampere. Simply here you can decrease how much you want to set, you can set. So I set this as 82 ampere. You can do the programming for over voltage also. Then below this, under voltage programming, leakage current programming, you can do here. High temperature setting and a lot more functions are here for which you can do the programming very easily. At last here, timer option is present. If you set the timer here, then at the program time, breaker will turn on and at the time programmed for turning off, at that time breaker will turn off automatically. So here through this button, we can turn on the breaker and turn off this. Apart from this, if you want to connect this breaker with Alexa, then simply click on me written here. Here you will find the options as Alexa or Google Assistant for connection with breaker. If you want to use Google Assistant, click on Google Assistant or you want to use Alexa, click on Alexa. Simple process is there. You can connect your breaker with Google Assistant or Alexa and can operate. So for this smart breaker, I provided you the basic information. Rest all the things you can learn and understand by yourself and can use. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.